Hello, just looking to show off something I've been working on for a little while, a GIF rendering library. It can handle single frames, or if um, it's an animating GIF, it can um, render the animation too. This is more or less its top speed under every stable version of computer craft. Um, however, in the latest beta of computer craft, there is a new command coming, term.blit. I have this beta installed and um, I've simply disabled the command. But if we re-enable it, you can see that um, it potentially makes rendering a heck of a lot faster under certain circumstances. Won't speed up every script, but hey, there you go. Um, yeah, so the script is literally loading GIF files off the hard drive of the computer above it. Uh, any computer will work so long as um, it has access to a color display. I'm using a command computer, but it doesn't have to be one. And yeah, it um, pretty much speaks for itself. The display is available to computer craft. Stretch their characters um, vertically. They're half again as tall as they are wide. Um, so these images are um, stretched a little bit. The overall effect comes out okay. Um, we've also got a 16 color static palette. Um, so certain images aren't going to look exactly like the originals, but in many cases, such as this um, Dancing Bomber Man, it um, works out pretty well. In other cases, uh, not so much as Jim Rayner, who's um, probably only using about three colours here, it's hard to say. Sort of worth noting that I'm rendering into um, Computer Craft's Window API. Uh, using it as a buffer as some frames need to be um, reverted on occasion. A window rendering into a window, rendering onto the monitor and um, the frame rate's still pretty good I think. Unfortunately the monitor isn't quite large enough for some of these images. Um, this is uh, about as big as they come. Depending on the size of the GIF image, some of them take a while to load. This next one I think is something like 200 kilobytes. But um, the rendering speed still tends to come out okay. I've been working on a larger terminal, but um, it's still got a couple of bugs to iron out. I was going to make a music video with the peanut butter jelly time banana. Unfortunately, I could not find a peanut butter jelly time MIDI file for the computer to play, so um, instead I've gone with a slideshow. Oh, is that flickering? Smiley dance party. And another example of where um, a little more colour depth wouldn't go astray. There aren't um, any shades of red available, unfortunately. More on this terminal. I've got my sky in the back here. Um, using my sky term. API. It's a little bit slow, but um, you can still technically pull off animations with it. Mm. 
until it bugs out and freezes, which unfortunately tends not to take very long. Um, I have another example of that um, API in action. By um, linking up a few terminals to the one renderer, I can um, have a bunch of flags waving in the breeze on top of my house. This is, of course, a single GIF file, which is um, being rendered through the GIF API. Yeah, so that's that.